And you know how step with Marcus J. Live in the Den. Legacy Internet Radio. Thanking everybody who has been listening and participating in the show tonight. Of course, uh, we had the number one truth fighter, Warren Ballantyne, who joined us in the last segment. Uh, y'all know him as my radio radio mentor. I speak of him many, 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 many times on the show. We're definitely honored here on Legacy Internet Radio to have the Empowerment Radio Network's one and only number one true fighter, Warren Ballantyne. So we're thanking him for joining us on the show. We're also thanking uh, our brother K Dub, who joined us on the show tonight. And of course, he gave us uh, quite a bit to digest. And so he's a long time contributor to the show. So thanking him. Uh, thanking, of course, everyone who joined the show. Our uh, Jersey City Fashion Week folks joined us on the show. Uh, and, and, and coincidentally, we have rejoining the show, the Jersey City Fashion Week show, producer of the children's show uh, and creative runway fashion competition. Uh, and she's also the People of Influence Award coordinator. Rejoining the show, our sister Priscilla Pender is back one last time on tonight's show. Of course, we dedicated the show to Jersey City Fashion Week. What's going on, Priscilla? Hey, everybody. Um, I just want to thank you, Marcus, and Ain't No Have Stefan and Legacy Internet Radio for always showing us love at Jersey City Fashion Week. It really means a lot to us to have this platform to be able to reach the masses, talk about the important issues that we support. This year, our charities are the charities that deal with homelessness in our area, and we just want to be able to give back to the community. So we thank you very much. Um, we would love to see everybody come out and support you know, the show, once again, is going to happen from September 22nd to tomorrow through the 27th. Great shows, a lot of great things happening. You can go get your tickets and see what else is going on at www.jerseycityfashionweek.com. I appreciate it. And uh, as we close out the show, I know that's a absolute mouthful. One other thing that I want to have you kind of share, you know, I know you mentioned it earlier in the show, uh, but Joe Pree, tell us one more time about Joe Pree. That's your, that's your baby. Tell us one more time that's, about Joe Pree. <laughs> that's, that's one of my babies. So baby. Joe Pree Consulting, watch out, look out for JoePreeConsulting.com coming up within the next few months. We are just doing our thing. We're, you know, working with Jersey City Fashion Week as a charity. We're, you know, like I mentioned before, we're in the process of working with a major network, which I can't discuss, to do a fashion competition for young designers. So, you know, we're doing our thing this year, this year and beyond. Yeah, I was honored and happy to be able to join you guys for your launch party uh, earlier this year uh, in uh, East, was it East Orange or Orange, New Jersey? Uh, East Orange. It was in East Orange, New Jersey earlier this year, so it was good to see you and, 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 and Josie and the whole crew uh, up there with Joe Pre-Consulting. So I appreciate you. Uh, I appreciate your time on the show here tonight. I look forward to seeing all the great things uh, that you guys have done uh, or continue to do with Jersey City Fashion Week. I was fortunate enough to be one of the honorees a couple of years ago, as you mentioned earlier in the show. Uh, as well so I know firsthand how great the organization is and the great things you guys are doing and the people that are being honored I look forward to seeing the great things that they continue to do knowing that they have done great things to be honored so once again I want to thank you for joining me and joining the legacy internet radio listeners as well as the crew in the den live on ain't no half step with Marcus J Priscilla thank you so much have a good night all right Hi, you too. Thanks, everybody. All right, you got it. Ain't no half stepping with Marcus J. Live from the Den, Legacy Internet Radio. Of course, giving you my thank yous. You just heard the Jersey City Fashion Week show producer uh, of the Children's Show, as well as the Creative Runway Fashion Competition uh, producer, Miss Priscilla Pender. She's also the Person of Influence or People of Influence Award Coordinator. Uh, she, of course, was the one that contacted me in 2013 when I was one of the honorees that year. So thanking her, of course, thanking the guests that we've had, everybody that has joined us here on the show, uh, most notably our brother uh, Warren Ballantyne of the Warren Ballantyne Show on Empowerment Radio Network. So thanking him, K-Dub, 
every single person has listened, joined the show tonight, called in, everybody who is hitting me up on Facebook, as well as everybody that's hitting me up on Instagram, uh, the inboxes, I see it all, I appreciate it all, it's because you guys continue to listen to us live every single Monday night from 7 p.m. until we finish the show, 7 p.m. Eastern until we finish the show, usually about two and a half hours. Uh, it's because y'all come here every single week is the reason why we continue doing the show as well as uh, the replays that you guys can hear in podcast form on YouTube. So we thank you guys for continuing to like and share all our stuff. want to thank our sponsors, Joseph T. Lewis Insurance. I want to thank Live Action Captions as well as Free Spirit Enterprise. At this time of the show, we always profile a missing and or exploited child. This week is no different. Going back home to New Jersey, we're looking for Anya Flowers. She's been missing since July 24, 2015 from East Orange, New Jersey. Her date of birth is June 22, 2000. So she's a 15-year-old black female with brown hair, brown eyes. She stands 5'5". Five five. She weighs 110 pounds. Uh, there are two photos here that I will be posting. Uh, in one of them, she has braces. Uh, and she has uh, what looks like probably an afro in one picture and braids in another. So she does change her hair. Uh, she was, in fact, last seen on July 24, 2015. She may travel to Jacksonville, Florida, and her ears are pierced. If you have seen Anya, Fla uh, Anya Flowers, please contact the National Center for Missing and or Exploited Children on their website, missingkids.com, uh, or contact them by phone at 1-800-LOST, 1-800-843-843. 5678 or contact the East Orange Police Department, East Orange, New Jersey at 973-266-5000. Let's bring on your flowers home, y'all. And you know how stepping with Marcus J. Live from the Den of Legacy Internet Radio. So at this time of the show, it's time for me to close out with my rant. It's time for me to close it out with my closing. And I appreciate you guys just an opportunity or just a moment to indulge myself you know we talked a lot uh throughout tonight's show and throughout previous shows and one of the things that i don't shy away from here is this discussion about race a discussion about race relations discussions about uh religion and sexuality and all of those things i'm a, a strong proponent of a discussion about something with people who are very passionate on either side of the issue as long as it's respectful is far more better than walking around acting like you don't have this differences uh i so i respect everyone's opinion even if we don't agree uh you know a lot of times i find myself in, de in these discussions with some of my white brothers and sisters who want to talk about how if some of us in our community the black community acted a certain kind of way that these things with regards to their our our interactions with the police wouldn't happen uh and they can't understand oftentimes how we really are in some cases harassed by the police i mentioned it earlier on in the show in the conversation with kate up a personal experience when i was 16 years old you know eric our eric garner was taken down you know, the brother on the college campus in Ohio taken down. The brother uh, in Walmart. And the brother running from the police in South Carolina that was shot in the back. Deadly force is not always necessary, but it seems to be the first thought with some. And that's essentially what the Black Lives Matter movement is all about. Some with their hands up don't shoot thing. You know, a lot of times people act like that was directly connected to Eric Garner. And you have a lot on the other side who, found, who feel that, not Eric Garner, I'm sorry, Michael Brown. And a lot of people feel like Michael Brown's murder at the hands of the police officer uh, was justified. Obviously, I disagree. But again, if you're not affected by certain things, oftentimes it's hard to have any empathy for those folks who have been. Thankfully, I haven't been killed or, or, or hurt or anything in any of my unfair interactions. But that's kind of, you know, my blessedness. And, and, I, and I realize that. But it's still a concern to me and it's still a concern to many in our community uh, that other communities and other folks sometimes don't have to deal with. I always hear Obama opponents say that he's divisive, but then others say that he doesn't say enough as a black man about race. 
So I suppose it's just a matter of your own perspective. As for images, every community has negative images, people. I mean, let's let's not play that game. You can't tell me that the average white person sees the Duggars or or or, or Duck Dynasty or Honey Boo Boo and see themselves. Of course, you know, I, I can't be responsible for every single black person in my community that does dumb stuff any more than a white person should be responsible for Honey Boo's mama. Many folks love seeing The Godfather or Scarface, but you see straight out of Compton and you think that's the worst thing in the whole world. Come on, man. That's not even fair. As for more blacks in prison, hey, there are more blacks in prison. But the truth is vagrancy laws during Jim Crow and segregation laws to drug enforcement laws of the 80s. You think folks in the inner cities introduced and brought drugs in by themselves? How about manufacturing guns? For being sold to find you know to defend those drug wars again these things are facts things that you can find right there if you did your own research you introduce chaos to poor and disenfranchised people you're going to get more chaos we can go on and on and on and on about all of that but the truth of the matter is i'd love to have this discussion with any fair-minded person on any side of the aisle, black, white, conservative, liberal, or in the middle where I reside. Because I think discussion about differences is far more productive than any window and swiping at each other. That's the Mur. Marcus's unrelated rant that had nothing to do with we in here talking about tonight. So end of the show, y'all, and we're gonna run it all back. In its entirety. So if you missed anything from Priscilla Pender to K Dub to Warren Ballantyne, if you missed any of that, we're gonna be running it right back right now in its entirety. In the abundance of water, the fool is thirsty. Those are the words of Bob Marley, who you hear singing in the background. Independence is key to building your legacy. I wanna say peace to all the stars and all of the squares. Ain't no half-stepping with Marcus J. Running it back right now, but we'll be back here live next week. Peace. Mm-hmm.